New video this evening of a massive explosion bringing down a part of a mountain. CDOT working to stabilize Highway 36 damaged in the last year's flooding. A 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez is live now. Lance, folks might be surprised to learn that CDOT's actually moving the highway. Mike, they say the highway is too close to this river, the St. Vrain River, and that if it floods again, it will wash it out. So to move the highway, they first have to move the mountain. The explosion loosened about 5,000 cubic yards of rock. That's the equivalent of 5,000 dishwashers. CDOT says it's blasting away the mountain to protect the highway from future floods. Basically, the river is going to flow where it wants to flow, and so we know that we'll stand a better chance by moving the highway away from it. Ashley Moore says work crews are moving the highway as little as five feet in some areas and as much as 50 feet in others. We were on top of that mountain as they wired the charges, which had been set in holes drilled 60 feet deep. They unspooled several hundred feet of ignition wire, sounded the warning horn, then triggered the blast. The shock wave so strong, it knocked over our GoPro camera, which caught the very beginning of the explosion. We also have a series of still pictures as the rock came down and the dust cloud went up. Road crews then used heavy-duty front-end loaders and excavators to remove the rock. Project engineer Adra Geisler says the blast's benefits are twofold. Take out some of the mountainside, put the road on bedrock, and use that bedrock to armor the channel so it doesn't encroach into the road. And as you can see, back live, that roadblock is still in place. The highway still closed. We are told that it's taking them a little bit longer to remove all that rock debris from the road surface because some of the boulders that fell were too large to be carried out by a single truck. So they're having to drill into those rocks and blow them up into smaller pieces. Reporting live along Highway 36, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.